This patient with diabetes has peripheral neuropathy. Her neuropathy is so advanced that she has no idea what happened to her toe because she can't feel it. Watch this video to see how neuropathy contributes to diabetic foot problems. It was loose. Mm. I'm sorry, loose. Look at that. Bye mm. bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Wow, look at that. Just came right off. It was already loose. Mm. Did you hit your toe on something? No. No? Nothing. Oh my God. It's been some time because it's dry in there. Mm hmm. You're not having any pain? No. Clearly something traumatic happened to this patient's toe. Whether it be a singular accident or something repetitive like a shoe that doesn't fit well, we're not sure. However, this did have some age on it. If we look at the nail bed, it's completely dry. There's no signs of any new active bleeding. So this shows us that the neuropathy that this patient has is very significant because she can't put a date on it. And as she said, she has no pain. This callus that you see me working on here could be a sign of improperly fitting shoes. Improperly fitting shoes in a diabetic with peripheral neuropathy will not be noticed because of the lack of sensation, the loss of feeling, the loss of that feeling of the shoes being too small. So the patient may go through their day, day in and day out with shoes that are too small, putting pressure on the tips of the toes and may even be causing friction on the top of the toe, which has caused that wound there. The dry peeling skin is an indicator that there has been recent swelling, at least within the past couple of weeks or so, caused by either trauma, infection, or friction, or some type of inflammatory reaction. Again, this patient doesn't know what caused it, so we're kind of at a loss, except for what we can obviously see. I prefer to remove loose skin myself. One, because loose skin holds bacteria, and two, this will prevent the patient from trying to remove the skin herself at home, possibly causing further injury. It just came right off. Very good. Somebody just bought a set. Okay. Mmm. Do you like it? Yes. Very little. Fortunately for this good lady, this is a superficial wound involving just the outer layers of skin. We call this a grade one ulcer. They're usually pretty easy to get healed up. You just have to make sure the infection is controlled and get rid of it. Keep the wound nice and clean. That way it will be able to speed up the healing process. I will see her once a week until this wound is completely closed.
You may be wondering if the nail that was removed was a fungal infection. It may be, so I sent that nail to the lab for analysis. I've seen cases like this in patients with peripheral neuropathy that they may develop fungal toenails, and particularly on the big toe, as the nail gets longer and thicker, it can snag on the patient's socks or stockings multiple times, and over time that, that will cause the nail to loosen, and the nail will either come off at home, or like in this case, the patient will come into the office not knowing how far advanced the case is, and I'll just take it off very easily. All right, better. Okay. The medicine here every day. Every day. Total to death. Okay. People with advanced peripheral neuropathy can lose that early warning signal, that ability to sense pain or pressure. We call that a loss of protective sensation. And diabetics can, can lead to severe consequences. Fortunately for this patient, it wasn't so bad with a loose nail that was easily able to be removed and a superficial wound. But I have seen other cases where patients go on to gangrene, lose part of a foot or also the leg. So if you know someone with diabetes, be sure that they're checking their feet every day. Make sure their shoes are fitting correctly. Thank you for watching this video. Like it with a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to ring that bell so you'll know when a new video has been uploaded. But most of all, take care of your feet.